So we've got a great selection this year, a mixture of small batch products and single cask products as well. There are seven small batches we've kind of put together using five to ten casks in each case. It gives you a chance to experiment with different flavours and you know, put different things together, different cask types. And we really wanted to be able to share these, these whiskies on a more global scale. So the festivals are kind of all about bringing people together and we wanted these whiskies to do that in slightly larger volumes. There will be single casks available in each market as well. An average single cask bottling will have maybe 250 bottles and I think the largest small batch that we're doing is about two and a half thousand. So as I said, like 10 casks is, is about the maximum we would use. They're all cask strength as well, so we wanted to, to preserve that element of things for the, for the batches. They've all just got a different kind of cask bill, if, if you like, a different selection, a different makeup to try and create something new and interesting. So there's a, a huge variety in flavours and we're kind of, we don't normally focus on region. This is kind of the one time of the year that, that we sort of hone in on that. So we've got everything from your, your PT Isla styles, but we've also got kind of lighter, more floral through to more kind of briny medicinal styles. There's a big focus on sherry cask maturation across the different batches, which is probably not a surprise to a lot of people because we love our sherry casks. My personal favorite from the batches this year is the release from Distillery 64. So there are 2,119 bottles of this, 15 years old, and interestingly it falls into the old and dignified flavour profile, which I think is just kind of testament to the, the quality of the cask that this is matured in. At 15 years, it tastes a lot older. Um, so there's a mixture of bourbon barrels, uh, American oak, Pedro Jimenez, and Spanish oak Oloroso in here, and it's just got so much kind of butterscotch, uh, whipped cream, vanilla, all these kind of notes. It's just really decadent. That's uh, my highlight, I would say. In terms of pairing whiskey, I always just have a, an open mind and tend not to be too prescriptive. So I would encourage people to just experiment, try it with different, different cuisines, uh, maybe in different cocktails if that's your thing. Um, but yeah, just keep an open mind and experiment. I really love the theme of the labels this year. Um, they sort of tap in very well to the, the unique nature of each product. So they're, you know, they're sort of a fingerprint, a, a unique piece of art to represent the, the one-off nature of all these releases. For me, I think the great thing about festival season is, is bringing people together through whiskey which is what we try to do all year round. I've had got loads of great memories of family holidays to Isla for the festival. It's just a brilliant atmosphere of people from all over the world. But if you're not able to make it there, we're looking to bring a little bit of the festival spirit to you with, um, with our releases. So yeah, it's, it's the camaraderie, it's, it's kind of the getting together, sit back and pour a glass with some people that, uh, that mean a lot to you and you know, what more could you want?